hello friends welcome back to our youtube channel oracle gp online training so in this tutorial we'll be learning about uh, oracle golden gate microservices unidirectional replication step by step so in previous uh, tutorial we have learned about how to perform the installation of uh, microservices architecture okay and uh, after that uh, in this tutorial we'll be learning about the replication part so we'll go one step by step like how we can create the source table and then target table and the replication between the source and target so that we'll learn everything step by step please watch till the end so that you can get it understand better before i begin i'll request all the friends to please subscribe our youtube channel oracle db online training and if you are interested about our training course you can just uh, get in touch with me on this uh, contact detail given here you can purchase our full ultimate course uh, at the price of five thousand rupees and if you are interested about our documents you can uh, get all the documents on the at 2000 rupees so without wasting much of time let's start today's agenda that is how you can perform the unidirectional uh, replication if you have microservices architecture so in the previous tutorial if you remember we have performed the installation and uh, we have done uh, source and target configuration after the configuration we have uh, we have received this uh, main page where we can see the we can log in as an admin user since we created admin user as a main user and on the target setup also we can log in as an admin user and then we get this this kind of interface so on the source side we have done the deployment one we have uh, basically done the deployment configuration deployment one and the target is a deployment two so now today we'll be learning like how we can create a source and target application so on the source side i'm going to create one table so let me go with the steps like uh, what we are going to achieve after this uh, tutorial so on the source side we are going to create one test demo one uh, test one dot demo one table under which we are going to do some data insertion that data has to be replicated to the target uh, table with the name of test two dot demo two so we already have the source which is running on the 12c database currently if you see this is a 12c database and this one is a target setup where it's a 19c version so as a first step we have to first create the tables and users on the source so i'll log in on the source setup and i'll create the test one user so this user got created so if i want to verify just re-execute the select statement again so user gg admin along with a test one user just now we created Okay, after the user creation, we need to basically uh, grant the required privilege also. So we can just execute this grant privilege. So this is also completed. After this, we need to create one table with name test1.demo1. So this table is created. After that, we need to run select statements. So as of now, there is no data. That's uh, good. And the same thing we have to do on the target as well. So on the target, I'm going to create test2 user. So I'll copy everything from here. And I'll go to the target machine. So after this, we can just cross verify whether this user got created. So user got created, and then we can just again create the table also. So source and target tables are created. So everything is completed on the source and target. So data insertion will do later once we start with the extract and the replicate processes. So that that thing we will do later so coming to the next step that we need to perform so there are few privileges that we need to assign to the database um, on the source and target so a few of the <clears throat> so gg admin is the main user who manages the source and uh, target uh, replication okay so so on the source side we need to give them uh, this user like alter session select any dictionary select any table a uh, flashback any table so these are some of the privileges which is required on the source setup so we need to assign these privileges to the source database user under the source database so gg admin user is already there so we have assigned these privileges to the database and on the target machine we need to give this uh, create any table insert any update any because on the replication sites we require few of the additional uh, details or you can say additional privileges so we will assign all these privileges after assigning all the required privileges we will move to the next page and uh, next step that is uh, actual extract and replicate creation since we are doing the unidirectional replication that means it will be between the source and target so our source is a uh, source machine we are already connected so in the in the the main purpose of oracle golden gate microservices that you can manage everything from the gui based interface so i'll click on the 
so since this service is service manager is already up and running so uh, uh, part of this service manager we have the deployment one under the deploy deployment one we have the total four services running so as a first step you need to go to the administration server and uh, you need to basically create one configuration so we have to go to the configuration tab so under the configuration we have to click on the credential so credential is important because if um, before you can do any actions you have to create the credential also so here we need to give the credential alias so what i'll do i'll give the credential alias like ogg admin okay under this we need to give the gg admin user so gg admin is a database user and now we have to provide the password also for that user so this this password was already we have given the same thing on the during the database user creation so after the after providing the password correct password it will allow us to sorry i think there is a, some password issue let me retype gg okay so the password we have submitted so we, we can submit so once we submit the password you will find out there is automatically it, it allocates the domain like oracle golden gate and under this we have the alias that we are uh, created just now ogg admin this is the database user and so here there is a three actions points given action one is a delete credential edit credential alter credential and then we have the last one is to log in so i need to log in into in order to proceed for the extract creation so a step number one is to create the extract step number two will be create the replicate on the target machine and the step number three will be the distribution path between the source and target so if you remember this diagram which we discussed during the time of architecture if you want you can just go through that video as well so on the source side we need to create one extract which will generate the tail file the distribution server will send those data to the receiver server on the target machine and the tail file will be read by the replicate on the target machine so we are going to create from the step number one so far we have just now created the credential so after creating the credential we need to go for the extract creation so but before that we need to also do the one more thing like uh, we need to add the table so transaction table we need to add so since we already created the test uh, test one dot demo one table if you remember this table that we created just few few minutes back so we need to copy this table and we need to click on the plus icon here and you need to type test one dot two. okay so after this we have to just click on the submit so it will automatically fetch the table from the database and it adds that table into the list okay it's so basically adding the uh, transaction information add tran data command if you remember in the classic architecture we need to add the table for which we need to perform the data extraction so we have just added the table into the list same way you can add the schema also if you want to add any specific schema okay so so far on the on the source side we have done this kind of uh, changes now let's come to the target setup and again we need to log in into the administration server so once you log in into the administration server you have to click on the password username and password and again same thing we need to do here also we have to go to the configuration first thing is to create the credential so here the credential alias will be the gg ogg admin you can give any naming convention just you have to remember then you need to give the database user this is gg admin user here we need to give the password then password will be we have provided the password then click submit after this you have to go to the login option here so in the, in the on the target side basically you need to create the checkpoint table on the source side you have to do the transaction information but on the target side you need to do the checkpoint so this is our target setup it is ending with 42 if you remember this and if this one is a source setup so uh, coming back to the target one again you need to create one checkpoint table so checkpoint table we basically it should be um what you call checkpoint table should be like gg admin dot dot checkpoint okay so click on the submit so this table is added here on the target side after that you can come back to the overview page so let's start back to the source side changes so this is our source machine sorry this one is our source machine i'll come back to the overview page from this page we have to go to the plus icon here where you, you need to select the new extract creation 
So we'll go with the integrated extract creation, click on the next tab. So here we need to assign the extract name. So let's cre create the extract one here. After that, you, if you want, you can give the uh, description of this uh, extract also. Since we are creating the unidirectional, we'll go with this option. After that, we need to select the uh, credential. So the by default, we need to select the existing uh, credential domain. So after this, it will automatically pop, uh, fetch the credential alias. So OJG admin, that is the alias that we already created. Next point, we need to give the trail file name. So trail file name, we will give two name characters. Trail file, let's say, give the name like a double A for the trail name. Okay. And after that, we need to just simply submit this or you can click on the next. So on the next page, you will find a detailed parameter file. Okay, so here you need to basically add few more details. Suppose I want to add for a specific table. So I already created the list of uh, these details into my uh, text pad here. So generally the, your extract name should be like uh, ext1 or whatever the naming you are giving. So same thing has to be there. Along with that, it will have the user alias okay, and extract trail file name. So this detail is already there in the list. Apart from this, we also have to add a DDL include map so that you can perform the DDL related uh, replication or between the source and target. So these two information I'm going to add. So suppose I want to do the data extraction for first table. So I need to add the table here. Okay. And after that, we can click on the register extract in the background and click and create and run. Okay. So within few seconds, you'll find out there's the extract which is automatically comes here. If you want, you can just do the refresh. So now if you see this extract one got created and there is a green tick marks there which indicates it is up and running if you want you can like uh, check the details also by clicking on this tab and you can just go for the checkpoint statistics parameters so there are various options also you can look for the report also regarding this uh extract process okay so all this information is there you can go back to the previous page again this is up and running if you want you can stop and post stop is also given so source side changes are completed now come back to the target machine this is a 1.42 that is target machine so here we need to create the replicate so under the replicate we will go with the first replicate option click on the next so we need to give the replicate name so let's suppose replicate is replicate one here okay and then we can if you want you can give the description also since we don't want any description as of now we'll move to the next part that is credential domain so under the credential domain we can automatically fetch the OGG admin details. Okay, so here we have to basically select the target trail file name. So here I'll go give the name as a double B. Okay, you can give any naming convention, it does not matter. So let's move to the next part. So here we have to give the uh, parameter file description. So in the parameter file, we can modify certain details like I want to include the detail mapping also. And also I want the specific tables only like replication. So I'll remove the last strand and replace it with this option and click on the create tab. So once I click on the create, it will create this replicate and within few seconds, it should start working also. So here it says tick mark that indicates it is up and running. Okay. Apart from this, uh, let me go back to this diagram again. So here we have source setup, target setup. We have created extract also. Trail files we have defined and now on the target also, we have created replicate trail file i mean it will read so this trail file is uh, we have just given the path it is not created yet so after this what we have to do we have to create the distribution path so on the source side we need to create this distribution server from this distribution server will be sending the data towards the receiver server so i'll go back to this page again on the main service page, service uh, manager page and here from this option we need to select the distribution server so in the distribution server, you'll find out paths that will be there. Okay. So here we need to click on the plus icon over here. So we need to give the name of the path. Let's say it's a distribution one. Okay. So under this, you need to select the extract. So extract one is there and it's a tail file. So once you will select this extract one, this is a source extract file name. Automatically it generates this link. Okay. If you want, you can click and modify, but it should be automated. After this, you need to select the OGG because all or Golden Gate related configuration. And next one, we need to give the target host. So target host is 192.168.1.42. 192 and port 
So the port number here, it should be a port of receiver server. So if I'll go to the service manager page here, and this is our receiver server, it's a port is 7003. This is very important. Uh, don't con get confused because it should be that 7003. And here we need to give the trail file name. So on the target, the trail file name is a double B. Okay. After this, we have to simply click on the create and submit. So it will create the distribution path between the source and target. So you can click OK and then look for the uh, distribution path. So this is our 141 server and from where it is reading the double A trail file and then it is basically sending it towards the target machine which is running on the so receiver server which is running on the double uh, 7003 if i log into the receiver server on the target machine i should show i i should see this distribution path so this path is there okay so now everything related to this configuration is completed if you go back to this diagram so every com configuration between the source and target is completed now is the time we have to look for the replication part so replication we can verify using the uh let's so uh, let's try to do 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 the some data insertion so we'll copy all this insert command and i'll log in into the source setup again here okay so as of now there is no data here exists in the source setup okay and on the target machine also we can just verify if there is any count or not so select star from this table so nothing is there okay now let's do the some data insertion and do the commit also so we did four data insertion and we'll run the select statement. So here we have four records and let's go to the target machine. So within few seconds of time, we will find out this table is having four records. That means the replication is working as expected. So source to target replication using the microservices architecture can be achieved by these steps. I hope you have understood like how you how to create a new extract and replicate process and even the distribution path in the in case of it's a in case of microservices architecture okay so under the deployment you have to explore all these options and then create the respective extract and on the target side you need to create the replicate replicate okay so with this we can uh, conclude for this session uh, oracle golden gate microservices unidirectional replication i hope you have understood every uh, concept in this tutorial and if you find any difficulty related to this tutorial you can write an uh, email to uh, me and also if you are uh, new on my channel please do subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching this tutorial have a, a great day